हेलो स्टूडेंट्स Let us know about the poet. Poet is pen name A E Shure. Original original name Louis Abeda. Born September ninth, nineteen twenty six, New Mexico, U S A. Died July twenty first, two thousand fourteen, at the age of eighty seven. Nationality American. Is later Fablo. Occupation author. poet educator known for author of i am a fablo indian girl here first let us know about the poet of the poem beauty that is louis abeita chi vivi is a native american writer poet as well as the teacher she was born in isleta fablo new mexico in 1926 when she was 13 years old her first book the illustrator i am a fablo indian girl it was published in when she was 13 years old the book which is told through both prose and poetry is the first book to explain the lives and culture of the fablo community to the non native world she was also appeared in the short film fashion horizons showing her book to hollywood fablo actresses she is also known for author of i am the indian girl louis abeita is also known as a e sure had a long career in teaching and remains very active in the native american education system long after her retirement Louis Abeita died in Old Boca Cave on July 21st of 2014 at the age of 87. Before going to the poem let's go on to this pre-reading here what is beauty according to you all what is beauty and you should try to describe what beauty is or you should list out some of the things you think are beautiful dear children go through these pictures you can see rainbow here the sun rising the full moon tree blossoms and here the birds are singing stars corn fields peak peacock see by seeing these pictures we can see that all these pictures are very beautiful isn't it beauty here beauty is everywhere and beauty is everything isn't it beauty it is the combination of qualities such as shape color or form that please the aesthetic aesthetic means senses means it is concerned with beauty or art especially the sight of beauty isn't it beauty is a scene in the rainbow and the rising sun full moon tree blossoms dancing peacock green corn fields singing birds stars etc beauty can be seen everywhere let me read this poem once children beauty by a e sure beauty is seen in the sunlight the trees the birds corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest beauty is heard in the night 
filled sighing, rain falling, or a single chanting anything in earnest. Beauty is in yourself. Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work, and even in your rest. Glossaries. Harvest. harvest. Harvest means the time of the year when the crops are gathered from farms. Andre harvest andre sukiya kala anta. Okay, next is sigh. Take a long breath when tired. Need to siru anta. Earnest. Very serious or sincere. Very serious and sincere. The poem first para explanation of the poem first para beauty is seen in the sunlight the trees the birds corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest okay dear children go through the pictures see here the corn fields the birds trees sunrise and here the people they are dancing isn't it and the people they are working here the poetess describes beauty in this poem she is trying us to tell that the beauty is everything in life isn't it beauty it can be seen in the sunlight the sunlight when we watch sunlight, it will be very beautiful, isn't it? So, here the beauty is also seen in the sunlight, even in the trees, as well as the birds, corn growing and people who are working in the fields or the people who are dancing for their harvest. In everything, the beauty, it can be seen. Here the poetess is expressing that the real beauty, it can be seen in the sunlight, trees, birds and in corn growing and the people who are working in the fields or the people who are dancing for the harvest. Now let's move on to the second para. He is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting anything in earnest. Here, earnest means serious and sincere. Dear children, beauty, it can, it also can be heard, isn't it? If we, uh, uh, if here, uh, at the night time, uh, we can hear the noise of wind, isn't it? Wind sighing, okay? And the noise of rainfall, okay? The noise, when, the, when it is raining, we can hear the thundering noise, isn't it? And the raining, the, the raining noise, isn't it? Even, even we can see beauty in that also. Here, the poetess is uh, talking about how the beauty, it can be heard according to her, according to her means according to the poetess, the beauty here, it can be heard at the night when the wind sighs and it can be heard when the rain falls or when a singer is singing in earnest. Earnest means very serious and sincere, means when the singer is uh, when, when the singer sings from the core, core means from the center of his heart, is, it's like when he sings very seriously and sincerely that uh, melodious hymns, even in that also we can, see, we can hear the beauty. So here the poet is, poetess is expressing that beauty, it can be heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting anything in earnest. Next. Last para. Beauty is in yourself. Beauty is in yourself. Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work and even in your 
rest here the poet says in the concluding stanza that beauty it lies in ourselves beauty it lies in ourselves that is in good deeds means doing good works we should do good works we should do good things to others means we should not bother other people okay and uh, beauty uh, here it also it lies in ourselves that is by doing by thinking happy memorable thoughts okay and which are repeat that which are repeated in our dreams beauty is also seen in our work and even in our rest hence beauty is god and god is beauty here the poet is expressing that beauty is in ourselves yourself means ourselves it depends on the works what we do and what we think in which way we think and it also lies in our dreams as well as in our work and even when we are taking rest okay dear students here we have completed the poem beauty isn't it here the poet is expressing that the poet uh, uh, here he says that the beauty the real beauty it can be seen in the sunlight trees birds in corn growing people working or people dancing for the harvest and here the poet he also she also expresses that the beauty it can be heard according to her it can be heard at night when the wind sighs and when the rain falls and when a singer sings in earnest from the core of his heart like when he sings when he chants the melodious hymns and anything where and anything which he sings very seriously and sincerely it can be seen in that also and here the poetess is also expressing that the poetess the beauty it lies in ourselves that is in good deeds and happy memorable thoughts which are repeated in your dreams beauty is also seen in our work and even in our rest and beauty is god god is beauty i hope dear children you all have understood all the aspects of this poem now let's move on to the homework answer the following questions list out the things where beauty can be seen during the day and next is the poet says beauty is heard in the night pick out any two things of beauty from the poem that are seen at night next write the poem beauty two times dear children you should write this poem two times because here this poem it is there for your memorization and you should by heart this poem thank you dear children